Well, Young Africa exists um, basically uh, because um, one, there's a, there's a huge unemployment, unemployment problem, not only in Zambia, but worldwide. And uh, unemployment disproportionately affects young people. Um, and one of the reasons young people are unemployed is because they're unemployable, because they don't have the skills to actually enter the workplace or to undertake businesses in a professional way. Um, so Young Africa exists basically to try to fill up that gap, to impart skills to young people so that one, they can become employable, but that also they may then be able to set up businesses and operate in an effective and professional manner. Young Africa Zambia is a non-government organization. We are currently situated in Baulani where we run a training skills center. We work with youths between the ages of 15 to 25. Our main aim and focus is to empower youths with employable skills and life skills. What we know is that um, education is critical to the livelihoods of youths. For them to be able to live a normal life and achieve their greatest potential, they need to, to be equipped with skills. What we currently know is that the current situation of youths in Zambia is that there are high levels of unemployment, there are high levels of poverty, which create barriers to access to education. So basically we have a lot of kids who are dropping out of the school system from primary, secondary school level, and unfortunately most of these cannot proceed with their education or acquire a skill that will enable them to get employed. Um, the other challenge that we have as a country is that a very small number of people actually get into tertiary education after high school. Very, very few people. I mean, less than 10% actually access tertiary education. And there's been what I think is, is, is disproportionate focus on, when you talk about tertiary education, there's been disproportionate focus on, for example, universities. So setting up new universities, etc. I believe youths need um, uh, skills training. Um, uh, they need to be taught on how you know they can enterprise because there is a huge challenge. People normally think, uh, "Well, I cannot be an entrepreneur because I do not have capital." And the challenge is when they say capital, they mean financial capital. But here's the thing: financial capital is important. Yes. But the most important um, need are the skills. But typically what you need in an economy, for an economy to be strong, you need to have a very strong vocational skills training sector. So these are people who don't access university, but they still go to college, uh, they get a trade, and it is those trades that keep an economy going. When it comes to skills training, it's not just the, 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 the technical skills that Young Africa seeks to impart. Young Africa believes that you have got to impart skills of the hand, um, skills of, of, of also the mind as well. Okay, so basically what you do, skills of the hand, you are talking about the technical skills. So the skills that you require to make, for example, a metal product like this, to make your wooden product. But then you also then need to have the business skills, the entrepreneurship skills. We, we currently offer vocational skills training in uh, courses like catering, we offer ICT, we offer tailoring, we also include entrepreneurship and life skills for all our students. My name is Mutolo Linyama and I am the life skills trainer at Young Africa Zambia. Life skills is a course that helps youth deal with everyday challenges. For example, we have courses or topics that talk about gender-based violence, we have topics that talk about um, you being able to stand up for yourself. Life skills has got topics that challenge a youth to be an agent of change in the community that they live in. Our life skills course has got 26 lessons. We've got lessons such as, we've got topics such as budgeting, we've got topics such as human rights, HIV and AIDS awareness. We've got topics that help you be able to stand up for yourself. Uh, my name is Gibson Chigaga. I'm uh, the entrepreneurship trainer here at Young Africa Zambia. I'm also an entrepreneur with um, a background in business. Well, apart from the skills they learn, like hand in hand with the skills they learn, such as tailoring, uh, catering, 
We believe this training is important because they have to know how to make a living off of these skills. It's not, it's not enough simply just to learn the skills, no, they have to know how to start and run a successful business in the skill they're, they're interested in. One of the uh, government's aims was to, um, to tackle youth unemployment. So I feel we fit in this because the job market right now is quite, um, it's quite dense and oversaturated. So by us teaching um, the youth's hard skills, such as the ones we do here, and, and um, giving them the skills also to start and run a business, I feel we are complementing um, government's efforts to empower the youth. What really made me a Young Africa franchise is that I would really identify with the youth who were underprivileged. Because coming from the background that you know I came from, I could really identify with them and I thought I could also impart what I learned in life. The prospects for the future for the, the young African students is that you know they would venture into business and they will have employment because we offer 30% theory and 70% uh, practical. The prospects is that uh, they'll eventually venture into employment and they will have, um, uh, they can start business on their own and uh, yeah, they could be there in society because what they are learning is, you know, vast knowledge that can take them somewhere in society. Uh, we provide an internship for our students as well which we have already about 17 who are already attached to the various uh, restaurants and uh, lodges around Osaka. Um, my name is Exilda Chisanga Kapasa. I'm 19 years old. I'm a student at Young Africa Zambia. Being a part of Young Africa Zambia students means a lot to me because it has provided me with an education I couldn't afford to have before. I now have dreams. Once I complete my trainings, I can run my own kitchen or tuck shop or apply for employment in a hotel or restaurant. Maybe in the future, I will open my own restaurant. My name is Raida Wema. I'm 20 years old and I'm doing Qatari at Young Africa Zambia. This training has benefited me with life skills that will give me financial independence. I'll be able to get a job once I complete my training or even set up my own business. This not only benefits me but my family as well. I love the environment that is created by Young Africa Zambia for us youths. One that is welcoming and very encouraging. Our teachers, our trainers are very approachable and friendly. It's a very, very inclusive training program. My name is Macy Mwaba. I'm a student here at Young Africa. Uh, I started last year in August. I'm now doing my attachments. What I love most about uh, life skills is that uh, one thing I've learned, no one can, they can never be taken away from me. I always have them. For example, uh, my communication is now effective. I'm able to communicate with people I was not able to communicate. And another thing, the skills I've learned, they have helped me to be where I am during my attachment. So basically, entrepreneurs are part of the whole ecosystem, part of the business model of Afri Young Africa. These entrepreneurs earn money from running the facilities because they then charge for the services. So the public accesses the service for a fee and then Young Africa and the entrepreneurs split the profits of the money. And the Young Africa, the share that Young Africa gets, it then invests that money into the running and operation of Young Africa Center. So in that way, we're able to assure sustainability of our operations. Okay, so we started small. I think when we started, we just had one franchise unit, and that was in information communication technology. Uh, we have since 
expanded. We've got set up other franchises like tailoring, for example, um, um, catering, for example, and we're in the process also of setting up something in carpentry. Uh, what we hope to do is to set up a full-fledged center of our own, full-fledged, that will have not less than 10 training units. So that means 10 different franchises operating at the same place. Uh, a facility that do, like a creche, so a facility that to look after um, the children, so the young children of our trainees, our female trainees. So they should not be constrained because they have children, they should not be training. So we create this creche so that the kids can go there and be taken care of while their mothers have been trained and also then boarding facilities on site. So that's what we're looking at long term. Short term, we have partnered. So we partnered, for example, with the Salesians of Don Bosco and we are running a facility in Baoleni compound. So from within their premises, we have got a long-term arrangement with them and we have renovated some facilities and we've put up our training units there. Uh, we've also been in discussions with them to use another facility where we can then roll out more franchisee units. And we, are, we have got our own land, but we then are now looking to establish, you know, um, the full-fledged uh, center that I've spoken about. But we've made tremendous strides in the last year since we set up. Uh, we're happy with it. Um, and I think that we are now positioned in a kind of like space where we are really, we are, we are positioned well for takeoff. So core action, one, for public authorities is to look at the model of training delivery and to try to see if we can innovate and tweak. We're not saying we've got the best, but maybe we've got something that collectively we can work on to refine. For the young people especially, I would like to say, you need a skill. You know, you have to differentiate, differentiate yourself in life, you know. And how you differentiate yourself is basically by having something you can contribute. And what you can contribute is you can get it in the skill. And you, you don't become somebody important only by getting a university degree. But then also with young people, I want them to understand it's not just going to be the technical skill that you're going to acquire. Your attitude towards your work is going to be very important. It is important you have to ensure that you try to create an excellent product. You have to ensure that you keep your promises to your clients. You have to ensure that you remain a credible market player. And then thirdly, we all recognize that as a country, we've got a challenge creating formal employment. And for a long time, we're going to have a challenge, which means that a lot of young people are going to have to get into business. I would like them to look at the business as something that, if managed properly, can give them a life of dignity for a very long time. But they will need to acquire the skills to run the business, and having acquired the skills, they need to be dedicated. Focus, focus, focus. Come and enroll with Young Africa Zambia. Bring your children, your dependents, we equip them with uh, life skills in entrepreneurship, life skills, tailoring, catering, and ICT. We are doing all this at very affordable prices, as our main aim is to empower as many youths as we can reach.